with 150 pounds of boost, I'm sure that much or more drive pressure, 2000 plus EGTs, just a recipe for disaster. So What's up you guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say, I got a bunch of greasy merch here, I'll show you. We got the retro style, white and black, all black. Got the caveman, black and white, all black. Got the stay greasy tees with the sick greasy retro logo on the front. And then the favorites, the return of the Mac dually shirts. Got the greasy logo up front, these things are sick. Hop on the website, greasyapparel.com, grab you some stuff, help me out. All right, let's get into it. Woo! Ash and I just had to tow the green truck, tow it forward with Liam. Then we had to pull it back with the brown truck and then push it for the final stage, but we got it inside. So now it is time to start opening this thing up, checking out all the carnage. Not ideal situation here. Not ideal. I'm hoping it's just a head gasket, but I started thinking, could have split the block. So I haven't ordered any parts because I want to get the uh, head off and look everything over and then we can make a plan from there. All right, back in the shop. Got everything up in here. And I'm about to get going on the green truck. You know, I'm, I'm pumped to be out here. This is like my happy place working on this thing. I really don't even care when I have problems because I don't know, I just like working on it. So I'm gonna get to tearing this thing down and we're gonna check out the carnage. All right, got all the head studs out, rockers, push rods. Everything's ready to go, ready to lift off. I just Got way too much junk in here to get the cherry picker through here, so I'm gonna call it a night, tomorrow night, or one of these nights, we're gonna lift this thing up and check out the carnage. Moment of truth, we're gonna see the extent of this damage. Got the cherry picker here, and head is about to come up. Balance was a little off, looks like. But up and away she's going. Pull her on out. Well, we can see that it was not liking whatever was going on in there. Definitely got some scar. I don't know if we got some stuff melting. What's going on, but I'm gonna look it over. I'll let you guys know. You can see where the head gasket went there and that went right into the oil passage there. I'll have to dive in further and check out the water jackets and stuff, but really want to inspect these bores. So I have to look at it. This thing's pretty much cooked, but we kind of knew that going into it after the last grinder rebuild here. But I really hate to put my 6.7 together because I want to change turbo and nitrous setups. And I hate to try that and have something, a mis make a mistake and then ruin my brand new engine. So I kind of thinking about putting this one back together, just trying to get some stuff dialed in. Um, the only thing is I don't want to grenade and damage the head or something, so I'm kind of weighing my options right now. But that is the carnage of the last runs. But I have a whole list of things I want to change about the race truck, and I kind of want to go over those with you guys now. First one, turbo setup. The triples were cool. I love the triples, but for racing and boost pressure and drive pressure, it's just too much. Especially with no wastegate and nitrous, so I'm really leaning towards a single charger. And getting that solved. Next issue is I have a voltage issue. I don't know if my PCM is fried from, you know, throughout the past or whatever, but I'm not getting like 14 volts. It's really dropping to idle, which is affecting, it affected why it wouldn't start at the track that day. And my fuel pressure, I noticed when I going down track, it had dropped. I don't know if that was a voltage issue or if that's just a pump that can't keep up. But talking about the fuel pump, I have an air dog that they sent me years ago and uh, I have not got a chance to put it together yet. So I want to put an air dog on this thing. Um, obviously the 6.7 block, if you guys have been around, you know that I got a 6.7 in the works. The next change is my nitrous setup. I have a maximizer five, so I want to really dial in the nitrous. I can also data log with that. So I want to get some more sensors and really dial this thing in like a race truck. I also want to relocate the battery to behind the axle. Same with the nitrous bottles, get those back there. So I know this truck has a bunch of issues and I, I've kind of just hodgepodge it and band-aiding it together to keep going, but it does get old after a while and I feel like it reflects poorly on, on me and uh, what I'm doing. So I put so much work and time and money into it, I want it to you know, have the same showing that reflects that. Basically, I've spent the last couple of years really refining the chassis. We got this thing light, we got it working good, we got good brakes, steering. We've got all that stuff now. 
it's coming down to the money part and that is making the horsepower and i always knew i was going to get here so now it's time to make some power some reliable power and we'll really start going fast so i just ran the old hone on there and obviously not perfect but actually not as bad as it looks so i'm gonna i'm gonna run the hone on the rest of them so i can get a better look at the cylinders and see what's going on oh it's like deja vu in here but got the uh Axle down, got the cross member out, got the engine diaper off, draining the oil. Ready to drop this pan down here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these pistons and rods out. You can see they were scuffing pretty good, so I'm gonna clean them up, see if I need to put new pistons in it, or if I can just clean these pistons up, throw some rings in it just to get it by for a little longer until I'm ready to slow down, put the six seven in here, clean the whole truck up and go over it. So I'm gonna keep ripping this pan off and We'll start doing another rebuild. So after getting the pan off, I found these other, these pieces again, just like the last time. There's obviously something going on in here. I really think these are like uh, tappets or something. But definitely coming apart. Let's see if there's any more pieces in here. So here they are, all six pistons, and they're all looking about the same, not ideal. So I guess the only positive is that not one cylinder is hotter than the other because they're all about the same. This is the brand new number six we put in. It's almost kind of embarrassing, you know, to put it together, run it a little bit, blow it up, but we knew it was going to happen. It hates quarter mile stuff. Um, not to say that you can't do it, but just this setup is not really perfect. So eighth mile, it's okay. Quarter mile is just pushing it. But with 150 pounds of boost, I'm sure that much or more drive pressure 2000 plus EGTs, just a recipe for disaster. So it's time to make some changes so we're not doing this all the time. Picked up a fresh hone and I'm actually pleasantly surprised at uh, how they cleaned up. It's not nearly as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Obviously there's still some scoring, but we're not worried about that. Got all the aluminum off. So. They all feel pretty good, actually. This one might need a little work. I'm gonna look at that one. Got this box in here from Power Driven Diesel. I paid full price because they do not sponsor me, but they should. So everyone go tell Power Driven Diesel to sponsor me because I'm going fast with the 12 valve. Who else is doing it? But got six in a row here, some fresh interstate pistons. So we're gonna get all these rings gapped, start dropping these things in the holes. Well, just like that, we got Six slugs in the holes, and they're shiny, too. Woo! All right, next up, getting this bottom put together. So I got some RTV over here. Got a fresh gasket. I'm going to get all this lathered up, get a gasket on there. And we'll get her set up in place. There we go. When the windshield there got covered with water at 140-something miles an hour, that was the culprit. So, to fight that... We got this nice little billet piece from Keating. I'm gonna pop that in and hey, a little shinier now too. Come on. Got my fresh Hamilton head gasket here, getting ready to set her on. Special thanks to Matt and Kat at Cisco Diesel, always hooking it up with the good deals on parts for me. If you guys are in Oregon or West Coast or whatever, hit them up, Cisco Diesel. Jump forward a little bit, but the head is sitting on there. Got all the studs ran in, push rods. Rockers, all that stuff. So now it's just a matter of torquing all these studs down. And then we can get the exhaust manifold on and fire this joint up. The head is all torqued down. 140 pounds to start. Got the valves adjusted. So this thing is ready to fire up once we get the injectors in. Do, you know, throw the injectors on. Leave everything else off. Get it warm. Do a hot retorque. Right now I'm pulling the turbos off because I think these things are no more. They're not going to be on the racetrack anymore. So we're going to... Get these out of the way so we can start getting set up on the uh, new setup. Also think I'm going to put my new freeze plugs in <clears throat> so that'll be easy to do while everything's off. The old S467 here has seen better days. So this turbine wheel is a little either melted or pieces of piston came flying through it or something. So I think this is going to get a fresh wheel and then it'll be ready to rock again. So I got special plans for the triple turbos. So. I'm pretty pumped about that. You'll see that soon. 
Just like that, we got some nice billet freeze plugs on this dirty, greasy old block. But hey, we just don't want them blowing out and they making us wreck or something. So we got the billet goodness because we got the one in the front too. Hey, we're about ready to fire this unit up. So there it is. I think it's about ready to fire up. I went ahead and threw the 467 back on just so the oil lines weren't going to be spraying everywhere. Got those ones looped together. Return lines on, inject lines are on. These are loose so I can bleed them a little bit. I put oil in it. So other than that, I really don't know what else there is to do, but I got a battery charger on it. I think I got to move Liam out of the way, probably the toilet so I can get the door open. And I'm gonna start cranking this thing over. All right, so I've been fighting this thing, trying to get it to start. I've been putting jumper boxes on, jumper cables and booster packs, and it would not start. I was really starting to get worried, but by the smoke in the air, you can tell she fired up. So it's really cold out here, so that's part of it. I was getting super worried that I got the wrong head gasket like last time that was too thick because it sounded similar, but a little ether, a little more juice, a couple more tries, and she fired up. So I'm going to fire this thing back up. Well, as you can see, the old 12 valves a runner. So I'm gonna do a hot retorque now, but that's about it for this video. Next video, we're doing some turbo stuff. So check in on that. But this is a little update after our truck mini carnage. We're back, we're ready to get back into it. So we'll see you guys later.